pretty much learned how to add using single digit numbers and expanded to larger numbers from there. Now we're going to expand our values to the right and look at adding decimals. We'll start with adding money since adding money is a part of adding decimals that most of us are familiar with. Here we have $5.24 and to that we're going to add $3.65. Let's start with our pennies. To my four pennies I'm going to add five more to give me a total of nine pennies. To my dimes I have two dimes and I'm going to add six more to give me a total of eight dimes. In my dollars I have five dollars and I'm going to add three more for a total of eight dollars. So when I add those dollar values together I have a total of eight dollars and eighty nine cents. When we add money all of our dollars get grouped together, all of our dimes get grouped together, and all of our pennies get grouped together. The same could be said if we drop the dollar sign and just add with decimals. If I want to add 5 and 24 hundredths plus 3 and 65 hundredths, I would still line up my place values. My hundredths would get lined up, my tenths would get lined up with each other, and my whole numbers would get lined up with each other. And then I would add like normal. In my hundredths column, 5 plus 4 would give me 9. In my tenths column, 2 plus 6 would give me 8. And in my whole number column, 5 plus 3 would also give me 8. So I would come out with 8 and 89 hundredths. Carrying or regrouping is a big part of addition. Let's try another example with money and regrouping. Here we're starting off with $2.87 and to that I want to add $5.34. Well starting with my pennies I have 7 pennies and I'm going to add 4 more. With my dimes I have 8 dimes and I'm going to add 3 more. And then to my dollars I have $2 and I'm going to add 5 more. So now I have a total of 11 pennies 13 dimes and $7. Well I know I can group 10 pennies together and make one dime. But the dime doesn't belong in the pennies column so I need to move it over to the dimes column. Now I know I can also group 10 dimes together to make one dollar. So I'm going to group 10 of my dimes together and change that into one dollar. Again I can't have my dollar in my dimes column so I'm going to move that over. So after I've regrouped we have a total of $8.21. The same could be done if I just added my decimals. 2 and 87 hundredths plus 5 and 34 hundredths. Line up my place values and I can add my hundredths together. 7 plus 4 gives me 11. Put down my first one in the hundredth spot, carry my second one to the tenth spot. In the tenth spot 8 plus 3 is 11 plus my carried one gives me 12. Put the 2 down in my tenth spot and carry my 1 to the whole numbers. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus my carried one is 8 so again I come out with 8 and 21 hundredths. We don't need to always use money in order to add with decimals. Here we have 8 and 4 tenths plus 9 and 62 hundredths. When we add up these two values the most important thing we need to pay attention to is lining up our place values. So here we have 8 and 4 tenths and to that we would add 9 and 62 hundredths. We can see there's a spot up here that doesn't have a value in it. That's where I can fill in my placeholder 0. Now that we've done that we can go ahead and add like normal. 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 6 is 10, put down my 0, carry my 1. My decimal comes straight down so it continues to line up 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 1 more is 18 so we come out with 18 and 2 hundredths. Over here we have 65 10 thousandths plus 1 and 4 tenths. I need to pay attention to lining up my place values. So I have my 65 10 thousandths and to that I need to add 1 and 4 tenths. We can see we have several spots that don't have a value in it so that's where we fill in our placeholder zeros. Now we can add like normal. 5 plus 0 comes out to simply give me 5. 6 plus 0 gives me 6. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Again, my placeholders or my decimal lines up straight down and 0 plus 1 is 1. So that comes out to be 1 and 4,065 ten thousandths.